everyone welcome to AUC channel and today tutorial I'm going to teach you guys all about forest factory in um, forest trading so first of all let me go to forest factory so you can get it through forestfactory.com so first of all I would like to tell you guys why forest traders use forest factory number one since you can't go to that country to know what's happening in the country and you can't listen to cnn for 24 7 knowing what's happening in different countries of the world you could use forest factory to maximize and gain more profit in forest trading so we could see a july 1st we see a lot of a lot of um news in jpy which is the japanese peer you could see tankan machinery malfunction manufacturing in this we could see tankan non-manufacturing in this we could see just lots of news and these news are things that happened in the specific country they mentioned there in the specific area where this currency is being used these are things that happen there so now let's get to the talk of the day how to use forest factory so we could see that forest factory tells us what happened in that particular country since you can't listen to cnn for 24 hours since you can't go to the country to know what's happening you could use um forex to get in-depth details about what's going to happen so this is for jpy pair so the first thing i'm going to say whenever you see this yellow yellow icon here it means you should set your take profit to 20 pips whenever you see this brown it means you should set your take profit to 40 pips whenever you see this red it means 50 pips and above whenever you see this white it means 30 pips and above okay it means this one just is a bank holiday so it does not mean anything but when it is red it means 50 pips when it is yellow it means when the icon is yellow it means 20 pips when the icon is brown it means 30 pips imagine you knew all these things before starting your first trading your life would have gotten easier right now so first of all whenever we look at this actual we see some numbers here so when it's red it's telling us to sell whenever we see the number red it means it's telling us to sell jpy but when jpy become the dominant as um you know it's maybe it's odd jpy so we are going to sell so we are going to buy this is what it means if it's odd jpy we are going to for this news that came out at 12:50 a.m. if it is all jpy we are going to buy because this jpy is not the first um coexisting pair with odd but when it's jpy odd i know we don't have something like this but i'm just giving an example so that we could understand when it's odd uh, when it's jpy odd we are supposed to sell so we could look at odd um this old news that came out in 2 30 a.m on the first of july so we could see the trade balance and it said and it was and it's red here so i hope you guys that you understand i said when it is red it means we should sell when the number is blue sorry when it's green it means we should buy and when it's black it means you should remain neutral we shouldn't place a trade on that particular trading pair on that particular currency pair so let me get back to my explanation when it's all jpy you know that they told us to sell since it's right there so when it's all jpy we sell but when it's euro old we buy so it's an interchange thing when it's all jpy we sell when it's um sorry when it's all euro or let me say when it's all um gdp or gdp or all chf we we sell when it's chf um odd we buy 
so it's something that interchanges okay like now they say euros so when it's when they say we should buy because it's going they say we should buy by 8 15. so when it's euros gdp we buy because ego is the leading pair there coexisting with gdp but when it's gdp euros we sell because euros is the second pair to gdp so we should take note of this okay let me give the last example before i end this my online tutorial look at the usd now they told us to remain neutral which is black look at usd they told us to there's an unemployment claims that we should buy so when it's usd um chf we should buy when it's usd jpy we should buy when it's EU usd we sell because it's intertwined and it's interchange so whenever it is interchange and when the pair being given the currency pair being given to you is not the dominant pair or is not the first pair that is slashed with your other pair you do the opposite of what they told you to do that's just it about when it's usd okay lamb they say we should sell usd when it's euro usd we buy because usd is not the main pair euros is the main pair but when it's usd chf or usd with another pair we sell because usd is the main pair there so i hope you guys learned about forestry um forest factory today in your forest trading so that you could improve for this today and you could see some comments and some things that came from the news so we could see a lot of comments here so i advise you guys to subscribe for me dealing more on forex trading cryptos and some other things okay if you want to learn any other thing apart from this i'm talking about you could just um you could write it down on the comment section below but i advise you guys to subscribe subscribing also makes us able to create more videos thank you and god bless subscribe to auc channel